What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Crystal Palace. Now this background may look a little different. We're in Universal Hollywood. Today we are here for one day and we are using the Universal Express Pass. Never used it over here. I've never even had a full day here in Universal Hollywood. There's some rides I've never done before. So I'm taking you along with me. See if the Express Pass ticket is worth it to purchase. And I'm so excited. Let's go have a Universal day. All right, first up, the famous studio tour. I loved this. We did this the first time that I was here in Universal Hollywood, and I'm excited to do it again. Let's go. This is really cool. This is what they're filming today. Daily filming schedule. While you're on the studio tour. So the tour is 60 minutes. There are restrooms here. Definitely go here before the tour, because you don't want to get stuck having to go to the bathroom. All right, here's a regular line. It's not that long of a line right now, but we might as well just do it while we're here. All right, we're getting on the next tram. It's only been five minutes. So you just get to skip the line with the Studio Tour Express Pass, which is awesome because this line can get really long sometimes. This is just such an awesome experience. We lift the veil of secrecy on some of Hollywood's oddest filming locations, all the way to the early monster movies. DeLorean 88 miles back to the future. I swear. Take a look to the left, you'll see the clock tower that got struck by lightning. Wrong! It was a mechanical shark, but so close. Oh my goodness, if you say Great White, you were this close. Now, the shark over there works a lot better than the one in the movie. The original. What's great about the Universal Express Pass is that you can really take time to enjoy the park, especially because there's not that many attractions. So we just did the studio tour. We're gonna hang out. We know we have until 10 p.m. to do the other rides that we need to do. So we could just take our time, enjoy Hogsmeade, grab a butter beer, take some pictures, and enjoy knowing that we're gonna get on these rides with our Express Pass. And so far, it's so much fun. Look, Hogsmeade is like not that crowded at all. It's amazing. I really like here how next to what would have been Hagrid's, they have this little train station store. It's really cute. It has a little Honey Duke's car. You can buy Hogwarts Express ornaments. It's just, it's awesome. I love it. A little cute shop. It's funny, like right behind where Hagrid's is in Orlando, like this looks just like Orlando, right? It's crazy. The cauldron cake out here looks so good. I tried this in Orlando. I'll link the video in the description and I did not like it, but this one looks good. I don't know. I also really like how they have a puff section in their Honey Dukes show. It's so cute. Ride number two, Flight of the Hippogriff, posted 35 minute wait. So they have this in Florida, but it's fun. We're here, we're in the wizarding world. So let's do it. That was pretty much a walk on. That was like three minutes and we're the next train. <laughs> We're going up. This is always my favorite part. Seeing the castle. Wow! <laughs> Hippogriff was so short, but it's cute. Now we are headed on to, I think my favorite ride here, Secret Life of Pets. I'm so excited. It's so adorable. Even this whole area, out here is just the cutest. It's a 45 minute wait, let's do this. All right, we got our express ticket, let's go. Okay, so cool. I'm glad we still got to see them even though we had the express pass. This queue is just so amazing. So this is all you can see, even if you take the, even if you do the express pass, you'll still get this part of the queue. I love this room too. That whole experience took 23 minutes. Not bad compared to 45. Next up, we are actually doing the Express Pass for Waterworld. I've never seen this show before, so I'm super excited. Express Pass should give us like preferred seating. Um, so that's gonna be awesome because it's my first time, yay. We're gonna catch the 1 p.m. show. Look how crowded it is too. So if you're coming to see Waterworld, get here early. Just look at the crowds. Also, it's 12.36 right now. 
look at this beam here. It's just it's misting out water. It's nice. I like how it's shaded too. Definitely need it on a hot day. Wow, this is amazing. I'm so excited. Here are our Water World seats with the Express Pass. So the green seats are, you get wet. So we'll see how wet we get. Ha, little did I know. We have really, really good seats though. Welcome everybody. Welcome to our angel. Y'all can call me Sage. I'm in charge around here. <laughs> Return signal! Oh. Oh, 70 minute wait for Jurassic World. Is it called River Adventure here? Or just Jurassic? Oh, Jurassic World the ride, okay. I haven't been on this, so I'm excited. We got our express pass out. Let's see how long it's gonna take. Oh wow, we're right here. Look at that, three minutes. Oh, that express line was so short. Hollywood does a lot of these misters, which is actually really nice. Orlando should install more. All right, six minutes. Our boat is here. We're down here in the lower lot. Let's hit up the mummy. For the mummy, you will need to put your bag bags in a locker, similar to what they do over in Universal Orlando. All right, here's a regular queue for the mummy. It actually doesn't even say a wait time, but uh, I'll chime it and I'll let you guys know how long we end up waiting. All right, here we go. Literally four minute wait, unreal. Go to they do have Coke freestyle cups in Universal Hollywood, one for $18. I actually really, really like the cups. They're really cute. I just don't like carrying them around, but it's a good design. Time for Transformers. Wait time, 75 minutes, but we have the Express Pass. I don't know um, how different this is from Orlando. I'm sure it's not too different, honestly. Megatron. Two minutes, we're already up here. This is crazy. Three minutes and we are next. See you on the other side. Save the planet. Well done, freedom fighters. I finally dried off from Waterworld. That Waterworld is literally the Popeyes of Universal Hollywood if you sit in those green seats. That's the equivalent of how wet I got. 
never done this, so let's try out Kung Fu Panda Adventure. It takes the express pass, regular wait, 25 minutes. I don't know what to expect here, I'm excited. All right, here we go. I think this is a standing attraction, unfortunately for my feet. Yeah. Hey, where's my Macchiata? Hey, buddy, get ready for the donkey and sexual. Uh, you mean the Shrek and donkey show? Oh yeah, seats. Seats. Oh, they said moving seats. Oh, all right, let's go. All right, here we go. This should be fun. Oh, these are comfortable. Can I stay here for the rest of the day? Thank you. Look at these hydraulic chairs. This is going to be pretty crazy. Good to know they do have stationary seats available if you would like that. Kind of similar to the Despicable Me ride. If you don't want to move around, you can sit in a stationary seat. The Express really just got us to the front of the line and I mean we got pretty good seats I guess. Um, we're in like the second row. But yeah, it was, Express was fine for this. It's something like if you have it, you're going to use it but you wouldn't buy Express Pass for this, obviously. Oh, you're such a good son. <laughs> oh, hey, you there, Mr. Thunderfingers. Be careful with that. <laughs> Hang on, everybody. This is quite a ride. <laughs> <laughs> oh, watch where you're going. We're going to show you how the chairs move. And he's known for his coming. Body traps! Lion King, prepare to die! All right, so post Waterworld, I took a little break from filming my ride reviews. Yes, you know how I feel about Waterworld. We got absolutely soaking wet. If you want to get wet, like Popeye's level wet, sit in the green section. If you don't want to get wet, do not sit in the green. I thought like we were going to get, oh, it's a splash zone. Like it's a SeaWorld type. Oh, you might get splashed. But no, we got absolutely drenched. But it was a good show no matter what. Jurassic World, the ride, was really good. I liked that Jurassic World version. I kind of like how they have different in Orlando and Hollywood. It just like kind of makes it more special. The Mummy was not as good here as it is in Orlando, but it was still a fun ride. It was actually pretty fast. That first launch was like, whew. And the Kung Fu Panda was actually a really nice massage. It was like pretty much just like a massage chair and it felt good, so I liked it. All right, I think we actually did pretty much all the rides besides Forbidden Journey and The Simpsons. We're gonna skip because we tend to get a little motion sick on that, um, but that Express Pass, you could honestly do like every ride in three hours with the Express Pass. It is so worth it, especially if you only had like half a day or one day, it was the move. And the Express lines were all so short, like we honestly did not wait more than 10 minutes for any of the rides here, no matter what the wait times were. This is pretty cool. Here outside of Waterworld, they have the cast and everything that they appeared in. Waterworld Japan, SEAL Team, music videos. That's awesome. Let's pop into the original Minion Cafe for a little treat. I just got the float, but here are some food options. Those fries look really, really good. Oh, that mac and cheese looks good too. Ooh, nachos. Oh, that's so cute. The banana pudding. Cupcakes, yum. Those cookies. We also got lucky. It's so empty right now. It's crazy. It's like 4.35. Look at this cute cotton candy. I really like that. The evil villains, the evil minions and the regular minions. All right, we got to start on my felonist float because it is already melting. It's blue raspberry icy and banana frozen yogurt. I actually really liked the felonous float. It was just a blue icy and that banana frozen yogurt. It tasted delicious. I'd give it like an 8 out of 10. All right, so here's a little bit more information about the Universal Express Pass that we just used. It includes only one time per day express access to each ride. So if you wanted to go on another ride again, you would have to wait in the standby line. The Express Pass does not include access to Mario Kart Bowser's Challenge ride, so just beware of that. You can't use it for that attraction. When the park is busy, you would need a virtual queue to enter Super Nintendo World, but with this Express ticket, you actually get reservation-free entry into Super Nintendo World when the reservations are required to enter the land. So you just show your Express Pass and they'll let you in, which is a very good perk, especially on those busy days. Good night, Universal Hollywood. 
All right, Universal Hollywood, it has been real. That Express Pass was great, honestly. We got, <laughs> there goes my friends, bye! <laughs> We had such a nice night just hanging out the rest of the day at Universal. And I do have to give a big, big shout out and thank you to the Park Prodigy for hosting us here today at Universal Studios Hollywood. If you're looking for tickets and to have fun adventures like we just did today, be sure to check out the Park Prodigy. You can use the code thecrystalpalace 10 to save even more at checkout. They are highly reliable, trustworthy, and I love them for all my Universal Disney tickets. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Crystal Palace right down below. I'll see you guys in the next one from Universal Hollywood. Peace. You didn't think I forgot about Super Nintendo World, right? Come back on Wednesday to the Crystal Palace YouTube channel for Super Nintendo World early entry, Mario Kart, Power Up Bands, and Toadstool Cafe.